Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. I'm Jason, this is Freya, our fuzzy mascot and co-host and really the boss of the house. Please don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We've got a ton of things coming out for you guys all the time. So today I want to delve back in. I'm getting away from fantasy for today's episode and I want to go back into science fiction. Instead of talking about an individual book, yes, don't tell me no, Missy. Instead of talking about an individual book, I want to talk about a series. And uh, it's, it's an absolute fantastic series if you like sci-fi, especially if you like military sci-fi. Now I'm going to break it down in four categories. I'm going to talk about the world, talk about the characters, talk about the plot, and I'm going to talk about the writing. Okay? It's going to be tough to do a plot for a series, but I'll do the best I can. So the world is, well, ours. Just a far future. We've reached the point now, humanity has reached the point now where... We're out in the stars. We've got multiple planets, we've got multiple kingdoms, although there is one main um, government that's kind of, that controls the majority of, of the planets. And then, we've, you know, we've got your individual planets, individual kingdoms, your individual confederacies, um, spacecrafts. Uh, but while it is far future, it still hasn't gone into the magic level of far future. While the technology is certainly um, more than, than we have now, it's not inconceivable um, aside from things like faster than light travel and stuff like that but but you know they still use guns they still use knives you know they're you know the 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 you know the highest end you get to cyborgs um, which there's a couple different ones very 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 fascinating how he does it now excuse me um, so that's your world I mean it's, it's you're in the future that's it you're in the future but you're not in you're almost in like Battlestar Galactica type of future, not uh, Star Trek type of future. You know, you don't have your magic replicators and your holodecks. Now, the characters, the thing about this series is, is he's he's got overarching uh, plot lines and or different phases, and he's got a a you know an organization, but individual characters, very few of them pop up all the time. Uh, none of them pop up all the time. Now, one of the big ones is Bill Booley. He pops up a lot. He's uh, a general. Uh, I think at one point he's just a colonel, but he's a general. He's, he's almost a legendary figure. At one point there's a Bill Booley uh, Jr. that pops up, so he's uh, much lower. I would almost go as, so far as to say that the actual main character of... Oh, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Legion of the Damned series by William Dietz. I completely skipped that part, didn't I? Legion of the Damned series by William Dietz. Um, I would go so far as to say the main character is the Legion. Now, the Legion is based off of the French Foreign Legion. They are, they, in fact, most of their their history and the things they talk about is French Foreign Legion. They will talk about um, legendary things that had happened in the 1800s, um, early 1900s. Um, so I, you know, I'd almost go so far as to say this is the main character, although Bill Booley pops up a lot as a general, commandant, a ca a colonel, uh, but other times you just have lesser, lesser characters that are part of the Legion. All the books always have Legionnaires. They're always focused around the Legionnaires. So yeah, I guess you could say the Legion is the main character of the series. Now, the plot is, I'm not going to say it's all over the place, because um, it is kind of over arching, but for the most part, each book is basically its individual uh, individual plot line. Sometimes you just have very, very minor stuff just happening on one little planet, and it's it's a very self-contained, almost coming-of-age story, or you have, you know, one book that is that is based off of, you know, helping a, a an oppressed indigenous uh, species or population or, you know, sentient species. You might have one book that's based around just rescuing somebody and saving them um, from a local coup. But then as it goes along, the, the, the larger government, it starts to fracture. And that's where, where you kind of get somewhat of an overarching plot. The most recent books, the last like three or four I read, pretty much based around the, the, the unified government crumbling. And, and the issues that happen there and the dangers and how these legionnaires sometimes have to, you know, trying to save somebody. They have to, you know, get a, save a president or a princess and get them off the planet and, and while they're being pursued by other military. Um, the legion is, is not splintered. The legion is very, very uh, uh, loyal to itself. So, again, that's why I say the legion itself might be the main character of the entire series. I mean, it is called the Legion of the Damned. Um, 
but uh, um, you know, but they're spread around. You know, communications may have dropped off, support lines may have dropped off, so some bases may be gone. Um, you know, some books just center around one individual character. It's not that's not Bill Bully or anybody else. You've got uh, one that one book that centered around the whole cyborg bit and and what it was like and and basically there it was uh, um, you know a character story about this character that becomes a, a legionnaire because they do follow some of the old original French foreign legions things for instance criminals criminals could choose to join the legion if they met certain pre -con preset conditions if they met those conditions they could be offered an opportunity to join the legion um, and that really comes into play with the cyborgs. Most of the cyborgs were um, death row convicts, or they were either they were injured legionnaires that chose to become cyborgs uh, to to continue living, or they were death row inmates that chose right before their death, literally seconds before their death, to have to be revived, have their brains implanted into a cyborg. So there's one book that's just based entirely around that, talks about that. Some of these cyborgs are really cool. Some of them are like, 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 at at Walker size, uh, you know, walking tanks and troop carriers, but they're actually cyborgs. I mean, they're, they're pretty cool. Obviously, the cyborgs are like the, what do you call them, heavy infantry? They're almost like the tanks of the Legion in a way. Uh, so, yeah, the plot, I mean, it, it spans many different things. Every book has been absolutely fascinating. As far as the writing goes, William Deeds writes very, very, very good within that niche. I've never met, with, never read anything else that he's written. I don't even know if he's written anything else. I know I've looked, uh, but I'm not even sure if he's written anything else. But I don't recall reading anything else of his other than the Legion of the Damned series, which I've got about 15 of them sitting on various bookshelves around the house. Um, so, yeah, if you like military science fiction and you haven't checked out William Dietz and and the Legion of the Dam series, you have to check it out. It's absolutely fascinating. You would absolutely love it. Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We'll catch you next time. Bye now.